In this tutorial, we'll study performance measurement frameworks. Performance measurement framework refers to accurately assess how well the business is performing. Ideally, the measures will clearly identify those aspects of the business processes that need improvement and those that are working well. Performance measures are also used to evaluate the company's productivity over a set period of time. In order to assess and evaluate performance accurately, appropriate measurement must be designed, developed and maintained. Whichever measures and indicators are used by the process owners, they must reflect the true performance of the process in customer supplier term and emphasize continuous improvement. There are various elements that contribute towards developing a good performance measurement framework such as good leadership, involvement, defined plans, proper implementation, timely evaluation, continuous improvement and maintaining standards of excellence. The following are some methods of measuring progress. It is defined as the percentage of actual output over the expected output. Efficiency It is concerned with the percentage resource actually used over the resource that were planned. Productivity Its measure should be designed to relate the process outputs to its inputs. And this may be quoted as expected or actual productivity. It is generally believed that investing in prevention of failure will decrease the cost of quality as failure costs and appraisal costs will be reduced. Understanding cost of quality helps organization to develop quality conformance as a useful strategic business tool that improves their product, service and brand image. The quality curve in the slide clearly indicates that the optimum quality level can be achieved only when the failure cost and the prevention cost are equal. Figenborn proposed a model to analyze quality cost where the model assumes that the production costs relevant to quality changes are divided into First is prevention cost. It is the cost of any action taken to investigate, prevent or reduce defects and failures. Second is the appraisal cost. It is the cost of assessing and recording the quality achieved. Third is the failure cost. It is the cost arising from failure to achieve the quality specified. These can be divided into internal and external costs where they are produced within the plant or after the transfer of ownership to the customer. In the equation here, COQ refers to the cost of quality, COC refers to the cost of conformance and CONC refers to the cost of non-conformance. COC is the process cost of providing products or services to the required standard by given specified process in the most effective manner, that is the cost of the ideal process where every activity is carried out according to the requirements first time and every time. CONC is the failure cost associated with the process not being operated to the requirements or the cost due to variability. A successful performance measurement framework requires identification and translation of customer requirements and strategic objectives into process performance measures. Performance review techniques are used to identify improvement opportunities and drive for continuous improvement. The links between performance measurements in all levels of the framework is due to need for measurement to be part of a systematic process of continuous improvement. There are five elements of performance measurement framework clearly indicated in the given diagram. Now let us elaborate the steps for implementation of TQM based performance measurement as discussed in the slide. First step is to ensure full participation during the introductory period and allow system to mold through participation. 
Second step is to carry out cost benefit analysis to the data generation and ensure measures that have high leverage are selected. Third step is to make the effort to spread the measurement system as widely as possible since effective decision making will be based on measures from all areas of the business operation. Fourth step is to use surrogate measures for subjective areas where quantification is difficult. Example, improvements in morale may be measured by reduction in absenteeism or staff turnover rates. Fifth step is designing the measurement system to be as flexible as possible to allow for changes in strategic direction and continual review. Sixth step is to ensure that the measures reflect the quality drive by showing small incremental achievements that match the never-ending improvement approach.